I'm going to film how to make an ornament, but somebody is up here trying to help me. No, you're on my beads. I had them all laid out nice and pretty. Mrs. Where, what are you doing? Don't try to eat it. I guess we'll film in a little while after you decide to move. Uh oh, she's getting in trouble. Okay, I'm going to attempt to do this Christmas tree craft. Bear with me. You'll have seen a video just previously of my cat trying to help me, and then, you know, I had to give up for a little while. Now I'm back because she's not in here. Okay, you will need these are called pony beads. You need one yellow, two red, two blue, there's about 16 green. Two little jingle bells, jingle bells, and this is curling ribbon. You need about 50 inches, and you want to make sure the ends are cut on a diagonal so it's easy to thread through the bead. So, um, let me get my next step set up and... I wish I had, where's my, I'm going to find my little tripod -y thing, or something. Or hang on, let me just set you right here. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Okay. You want to take the ribbon and fold it in half. Find the center point, roughly. And make sure you have the ribbon straight and just kind of make a loop, however big a loop you want at the top. You just do the whole fold over, under and through. And there's your loop for the tree. Now then, I'll be right back. Okay. You want to, I always start from the right, and I don't know why, but I do. I, I, I take the right side of the ribbon, and I'll get the top bead, the yellow bead, and thread it on. And then I take the left one, and thread it through the opposite direction, and pull both sides until you get the bead up to the top. And then you just want to straighten it around to where it sits even. And that would be your first row. And then the next um, row would be two green. Sorry about my arm. So I put on the two green one way. I hope this is coming. Then you put this through the opposite direction. And then you just pull both sides. And they'll slide right underneath the yellow one. Once you get once stuff, sometimes it gets all crookified and you gotta straighten it out. And, you know, because sometimes crafting is not perfect. Okay. So then there's row two. And you just do that all the way down, and you always want to make sure you you bead your bead. If you're going from the right side, you work from. I would bead on for the next row down. I would bead on green, green, red. You want to work from your right to your left as you um, bead. Then, if you do it from left to right, that's fine. Whichever way, whatever side you start from, that's how you want to bead on. So. I'm so not good at crafting videos. Next one will be two green and a red. And then after this row, I will shut this off and beat on the rest of it and show you how to do the ending. And you beat this through the opposite direction. One of these trees only takes not very long to make.
And there's my third, whoops, my third row. So I'm going to go and put the next three rows on, and then I will be back. Okay. Once you get a little tree like this, you will then skip your last bead. This is the hard part. And go through the next two beads and out this. Eh. See, this is always the hard part. The center. And you want to do that on the other side. Flip it around here. You know, me being a lefty helps if I can do it in this hand. Which makes me wonder why I bead from the right. I don't understand that part, but you know. I'm a weirdo. Okay. So, you bring those through the middle. Oh man. Okay. Just getting this last row on is difficult. You want to pull it, and make sure it stays tight. Then you pull these middle ones. And then there's your tree with the little things coming down. The bottom row always kind of gaps down a little bit, but there's nothing I can do about that. Unless I gap them all so then they all look the same, but I don't know. But there it is. And then all you do after that is take your little jingle bell, thread it on. Tie it where you want it. So you really don't need 50 inches of ribbon. Um, you can leave off maybe 10 inches, but I'm always I was always afraid that I was not going to have enough. Where's my scissors? Then you just want to cut off the excess. I always cut off at a little diagonal, so I had this much left, which isn't really a whole lot. Enough for my cat to dig out of the trash can and play with, and then I have to pick them off my floor. Then put on your other jingle bell, which I usually do at a different level than the other one. I'll make it just slightly shorter in length and tie it on. I do a double knot. And then cut it. And then there's the little tree with those little jingle bells. So simple. And it's a cute little decoration. Maybe you like kids, like Daisy. Daisy wants to learn how to make these. She can make these for friends at school for their Christmas tree. Okay. So if anybody tries it, tell me how it comes out. See ya!